You mentioned how it's a small world, and it is because one of the people that trained you was WWE NXT superstar Finn Balor. Yeah. So how did that happen, that he was your trainer? So what happened was, um, I'd watch wrestling my whole life, and uh, my brother, when when I was 15, he, I was like, I was so out of shape. I failed PE at 15, I failed PE. Um, and I wanted to get... You couldn't tell now. I want... Oh, thanks. I wanted to get in shape. I wanted to turn my life around. And uh, I wasn't really into into gyms because like Becky Lynch, I don't like conventional things. And uh, so I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll do kickboxing. My brother at the time was going to go over to England to do, to do a wrestling summer camp because we didn't have any wrestling schools in Ireland at the time. And then he discovered that they were opening a school up in Bray. So we went down um, and... There it was, about six padded mats on the ground in the school hall, run by Finn Balor, and, and that was our, our training school. And we didn't have a ring for the first uh, maybe month or two, but we learned how to wrestle on the mats and everything like that. And yeah, he opened the first first wrestling school in Ireland. And um, gosh, if it, if it wasn't for Finn, I wouldn't be here. And I owe that. And also, I owe him so much. Because apart from um, apart from my friend saying to me, you know, you should go for WWE try, I remember sitting with him for lunch one day, and uh, I always bothered him about this. You know, should I go back? Shouldn't I go back? What will I do? This, that, and whatever. And I was sitting with him, going, you know, like I just feel like I should be wrestling. And he said, Rebecca. If you don't go back now, I'm not sitting here with you in another 10 years and you'll be saying the same thing to me and saying that you wish you went back and then it'll be too late. And yeah, so really lucky to know him. When you ended up signing with WWE, yeah. people like Finn and Seamus, who's on the roster, yeah. did you contact them, reach out to them? Did you hear from them? Yeah, How did that yeah, go? I, I reached out and Seamus is... I've known him for years from back in Ireland, um, so he was he was always a good good for advice and support and everything like that. So yeah, it was great being able to speak to people like that, that have so much experience and that are just such a well of knowledge. Now I want to talk about your outfits. Yes. So, who comes up with the ideas, and then who actually? creates the ideas. I come up with the ideas and I come up with so many ideas. I am just, uh, and I feel like I need to stay on the same side, but I'm like, oh, or this, or that, or whatever. But, um, so, Sarath uh, Tong, I say, this is what I want to do. I've got this general outline, and then I'm these colors here, perhaps, maybe. And then I'll just give it to him, and he'll go, yep, yeah, got it. And he will just go, and he will make something better than I could have imagined. When you were wrestling on NXT TakeOver Rival yes. on WWE Network on Wednesday in that great four-way battle with Charlotte, Sasha Banks, and Bailey, was that a new outfit that, that you had? That was a new outfit. I was wearing shorts. I rarely wear shorts. I thought it was special. A special day to show off the quads. Oh, my quad. <laughs> Now, back in the talking about back in the day when you were wrestling, you actually did wrestle for an all women's female promotion, Queens of Chaos. Yes. And that was in France. That was in France. I was their champion for a little while. Yes. What is it like, and how do you see the state of women's wrestling? Because do you see that there are more promotions opening up, just women's wrestling? Yeah, so many more. I think it's um, uh, respect for it is growing and. Um, People are seeing that we can do it just as well, not better than, than the guys. I think for for so long it's been, you know, oh well, maybe maybe people would say, oh she's good for a girl, you know, or or it was just kind of the the attraction or whatever. But now now and especially with NXT and I, I get goosebumps thinking about it and talking about it and we always talk about it but I think we are changing the way people view it and we're changing the division and it's not just good it's not we're not just good for girls we're good and we're good for wrestlers and I think we proved that on TakeOver and hopefully we will continue to prove that and because we have the best group 
of girls I've ever seen and we are all so passionate about it and we love it and we just want we want to deliver just quality entertainment, quality wrestling, quality athleticism. Yeah, it's just you could tell how it is. Time. You could tell how it is with you. You get so passionate about it, even talking about it, thinking about it, and yeah. all. That's amazing. I'll, I'll tell you what. You four had to follow Finn and Adrian Neville. Yeah. And they put on a, an incredible match. And I thought one of the best compliments of that was when you four came out. You guys did so well that the crowd was still into it. The other match didn't tire them out. Yeah. You guys were able to still keep their attention and keep them going. How did you How did you feel about your match the other night? Well, I was emotional. I, f I felt like we made history. I felt like we made history and that was what we wanted to do and we wanted to go out. We wanted to steal the show and I think, I think we did it. I think we did a good job of it. And because uh, I watched the Finn and Neville match, that was spectacular. That was spectacular. And I think a lot of people were like, it's going to be a tough act to follow. But we said, watch us. That was awesome. And here at WWE NXT and at the WWE Performance Center, y'all are being trained by Sarah Amato. Yes. Who's well known, excellent wrestler herself. Spectacular. What's it been like working with her and getting some advice and training from her? Unbelievable, unbelievable. She has been so patient, so giving, um, we spent so much time with us. Really knows, um, I think it's good from a woman's perspective because she's been there and she knows. So it's great to have that outlook and to know she wants, she wants exactly what we want for the division. And, and so we've, we're all, gelling together and, and we can mesh and, and have this just this great opportunity to create something that's that's not been seen before. And that's what we're doing. Becky, do you feel like that you are a pioneering woman wrestler and what I mean and sports entertainer. And what I mean by that is am I wrong or right, we don't see too many women's wrestlers from Ireland. Yeah. Make it to a bigger level yeah. and all. Do you see yourself that way as sort of a pioneer or you don't look at it that way? Of course I look at it that way. I am. I'm the first Irish diva woman to be signed to NXT WWE and to do what I'm doing. I know there was um Belle McIntyre from um but I thought I think she's Canadian Irish, but maybe I'm wrong, maybe she was Irish, but um yeah, certainly modern day pioneer. Hopefully game changer. Risk taker. Rule breaker. Becky Lynch, you're incredible. Thank you for the time. Keep doing the great work in the ring, the action. It's it's amazing. Thank you so much.